You've arrived. I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Pungyi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is there anything else I should bring? Good. In that case, let's first pay Madame Ping a visit in the city before heading out to Joyun Karst. Festive season is upon us. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. I get it, Granny, but you know, having lots of clients is a good thing. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but really, child, who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? <laughs> You'd be surprised. It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. How are you? Oh dear, well, look who's here. I'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival. Hello, Traveler. Long time no see. Oh, and Lady Kuching is here too. The Jixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I pick specifically for you, Madam Ping. I brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. Please, accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous! Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. Please, enjoy them. We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes, they should be over in Jueyun Karst. By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. What a pity. Yenfei really enjoys spending time at the festival. You'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny, I wasn't wandering around. I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Oh, is that so? Were you also holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the grilled tiger fish stand for all that time? As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not easy, you know. I had to check a lot of different items. That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. I have to be ready whenever my clients need me. 
That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Besides, uh, what's the saying? Ah, yes, a rested worker is an efficient worker. I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work keeps piling up. I ended up completely forgetting about it. <laughs> yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joy Yoon Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping. We'll be leaving now. Let's see. Which adeptus shall we visit first? I know that you must be busy. But please, take care of yourself. Sacrificing your health is never wise. She usually stays inside her abode, so she'll be super easy to find. All right. Cloud retainer it is. The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? Well, with Lantern Rite just around the corner, I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. But, um, where are Mooncarver and Mountain Shaper? Them? Oh, don't even get one started. Oh, is that not the Traveler and the Yu Hung too? Hmm, a rare visitor indeed. Happy Lantern Rite, everybody! Greetings, Venerable Adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. Huh? Lady Kuching, I didn't expect to see you here. The Yu Hung of the Chi Thing. Here. Most fascinating. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Qixing, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liyue, the Qixing must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, you still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode. Eminently considerate of you. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. I wonder what that could be. This is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liyue being ruled by humans. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then, we should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets, so she will certainly appreciate this gift. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. I've given everything thorough consideration. It should all go well. Goodness me. Who ever would have thought? Oh, my, how very interesting. It is 
intricate, with ingenious design, and is aesthetically agreeable. Yes. Judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, it seems this gift was a success. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity. Your timing is most unfortunate. Oh! Are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too! Hmm. Those two old fossils. Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares. But the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chi-Sing. And he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human and take a brief look around. Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Thereafter he left, claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded, but he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures, and one has not heard from him since. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots? Rusing to excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back, to scurry away and go traveling together. Huh? What's everybody doing here? This voice... Is it Shenhe? Oh? Uh -huh. Oh? So Shenhe's here too! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she the one that you mentioned before? Hello, everyone. Shenhe, this is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyua Harbor recently, so if you need anything, please feel free to come to me. I will. Thank you. I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Oh no, I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? Oh, and you even brought food for those two old fossils. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shenhe. <sighs> Huh? Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. The Conqueror of Demons? One has not seen him of late. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot, at Wang Shuin! In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Juryun Karst for the festival. Had Ganyu not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh? Oh 
Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Uh, n no It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. A matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? Uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Ganyu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. Huh. Gone already. That child, she has always been easily ruffled. One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liyue Harbor, momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health, lest she fall prone to exhaustion. Ganyu is an assiduous worker, apt to foregoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. The Yu Hung, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liu Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles... Hmm, they do look delectable indeed. You may leave them here. Shanha shall bring these into one's abode, and one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it. And one also wants to hear what Shenhe has learned in Liyue Harbor. Oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. Yeah! Don't you rest during the holidays? This is a festive season after all. <laughs> One has long been living secluded in the mountains, and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Is it really that important to test it yourself? Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome... Hmm. That would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. Ah, <sighs> enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shanha, this way. A chef who doesn't get to try their own food? Hmm, that would be kind of weird. Cloud Retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. She can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an adeptus. That's the wisdom of an adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wang Xuin. 
Perhaps we'll find the Conqueror of Demons there. Let's ask Virgil Dutt where the Conqueror of Demons may be. Huh? Hold on! Isn't that... Dr. Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. Splendid! Let me pack up and then we can be on our way. Hey, you guys! What are you doing? Dr. Baiju wanted herbs. So, I came to collect herbs, lots of them, and Dr. Baiju came too. Traveler, Paimon, oh, and Lady Kaching. It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite, and you're still running errands. Hard-working as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. All right, thank you, Titi. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, <clears throat> three. Traveler, let's go find Virgildet. Ah, Lady Kuching, what a surprise. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. I'm just wondering if you might know where the Conqueror of Demons is. Oh, we never inquire about Xiao's whereabouts. But if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. Please feel free to go up and have a look. seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to... How can I help? Yes. Hello. I am Kuching, Yuhong of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes. I saw you when we battled Osail. You are fierce with your blade. Uh, anyway, we're here to give you some lantern right presents. See? There's lots of tasty food! Hmph. <laughs> Don't waste your delicacies on me. <sighs> Eradicating demons is my duty. You don't have to thank me. Karma is harmful to the human body. Even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. Hey, wait! Are you leaving? Aw, oh, come on! Lantern Rite is almost here! Don't you want to take a break? 
Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. I must remain vigilant of evil attacks, especially during the holidays. I will continue my patrol as usual. You should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger, good. And he's gone! Well, Shao hasn't changed a bit. Wonder if he'll come and watch the fireworks this year, though. Alright, we've completed our visits with all the Adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Oh no! What should we do? Huh? Oh! Lady Kuching! Lady Kuching! I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Feng Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village, just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But... <sighs> The person we left in charge came back shortly after, and reported that all the fireworks in Chingsa village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millileth, and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millileth are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left. So if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So, I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you. Lady Kuching, what should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But, those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Hmm. Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help. This would be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll handle this, Pungyi. That's right! We can take care of this! Together! Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Pungyi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. How could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like that? Hello, Granny Roshin. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kaching. I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well... When they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round, watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now, let me remember. Ah, oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Oh, the villagers here are worried too. 
The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milleriths are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Milleleth standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. Thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chingsa village, all too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. they lead. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Following them. <laughs> Sir, please, this is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> a misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me. Why are you hiding here? Please, good sir. This really is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Oh! The Feiyun Commerce Guild? It must be... Please, save your breath. Restrain this fellow! Tightly now, we mustn't let him get away. Yes, young master. Uh, I was sure it was an evil spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. Xing Chun Chun Yun! Hello! Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh! So what's Chang Yun doing here? Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. So you thought there was an evil spirit. I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and were used to ward off evil spirits and the like. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. 
In order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happen to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my Thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Singcho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Anyway, when we arrived at the area, Chongyun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. They tried to flee the moment we were upon them. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding, but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good sir, just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. The master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds, a, a, a true hero of the people. So, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the gift. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well, who was it? I... Uh, well, uh, well, just trust me. We were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Please, please believe me. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secured. Tie each of his fingers separately if you have to. He's not gonna pull anything under our watch. Wait a second. Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuong. Yes, young master, I understand. We'll be on our way. I've heard many good things about you, Master Xingqiu. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chongyun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Veiyun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush, but rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chingsa Village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chingsa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. <sighs> it seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww. Ka-ching. <sighs> Thank you. Master Xingqiu, I'll leave Chingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. <sighs> it's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. It's so cool to fight for justice! The thieves who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. I've troubled you enough already. 
I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Uh, Kuching, are you planning to look for clues all by yourself? Um, somehow that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Oh, wait! You're in the Liwei Chising! Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? At least it'll be safer than investigating on your own. Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. Way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Well, when you put it that way... It's settled then. Traveler, Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa village when I'm done. <laughs>